So you want to go into business, but there's one big problem. You're broke or limited on financial resources. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can uncover business success that lies hidden in being broke. Now in this video, we're going to talk about being broke and starting your business and the hidden power behind that. However, I want to start off by the other end of the spectrum, talking about lottery winners. 70% of all lottery winners end up broke or bankrupt after five years. And to talk about athletes, in the National Basketball Association, 60% of all NBA players end up broke or bankrupt after five years too. And to take it a step further, 78% of all American football players in the NFL end up broke or bankrupt after two years. So it begs the question, why are these rich people going financially broke after five years of gaining that income? Well, I believe it's the way you think. You see, if you have a broke mindset and a broke person, well, the odds of that person becoming rich are very slim. If you have a rich person, like someone winning the lottery or an athlete, but a broke mindset, then it's only a matter of time that that person will eventually go broke. However, if you have a broke person and a rich mindset, well, it's only a matter of time before that person becomes rich and successful. And this is where things can go wrong in startup businesses. If you have a high supply of cash before you start your business and even prove proof of concept, then that's where things start to go to shit. You see, you let your wallet dictate your decisions rather than your gut feeling and good business practice. Now, an example of this would be starting with a lot of money behind you, going into business and buying like a shop or a premises with a mortgage before you've made any sales. That makes no financial sense whatsoever, especially going into business for the first time. Now, I've wrote about several entrepreneurs being broke, scaling to the very successful people they are today, such as Richard Branson and Peter Hargreaves, who I mentioned in my book. However, if you can't relate to their story, then relate to mine. At 24, when working in the police service, I realized being a police officer wasn't for me. I wanted to become a police officer all my life, and I, once I was there in the custody environment as a DO, I decided, nah, this isn't for me. So, with my savings, 18,000 plus VAT, I spent on a mentor to learn the right things in business. And because I spent that money, I was financially broke going into an industry where typically you need money to get started. But I knew by learning the right things and learning what not to do, it was only a matter of time before I'd get the result that I wanted. By learning first and implementing after, rather than spending that 18,000 plus of that on silly things that may have been very costly and ultimately failed my business. There's a certain power with bootstrapping your business, which typically means starting your business with limited financial resources. Your decisions go further, you're more refined to those decisions, and ultimately, you make sure that if you make a failure in business, it isn't a costly failure because of your limited financial resources. So please, let that reassure you that if you are going into business with limited financial resources, that it could literally be the best thing for your success, and ultimately, give you that long-term success as an entrepreneur going forward. Also, by bootstrapping your business, it gives immense focus on the things that matter, such as sales, bringing income into your business rather than raising finance and spending that money. Something to consider too, that if you're raising private finance from an investor, you may need to give up some equity within your business. Now, at the early stages, this isn't great because when you start gaining traction in your business and you're gonna need to raise other finance, well, you're giving a lot of equity up, not only in the beginning stages, but also later on in your business journey, which is only going to dilute your business. When I talk to startup entrepreneurs or people looking to go into business and they always complain about not having the money to do the things they want to do, it isn't too hard to actually find the reason why they don't have the money. They have the latest iPhone, they're going away on holiday, they're buying shit they don't need, they have a new car on lease or they've just bought one. You see, in business, you have to be willing to take two steps back in order to take a giant leap forward. And in fact, one of our police officer clients sold her lovely, amazing house, moved her and her family to a different location, including schools, so she could launch her business. 
And lo and behold, by bootstrapping that business, she's making over 100,000 pounds in sales. So here's the thing, resources in business, opportunities, partnerships, people, could be team members, it could be money, show up after you've made a commitment. A commitment in bootstrapping your business and not before. And if you do have the opportunity to raise finance before you've even proved the business case or made any sales, then please be mindful of the trouble you could be running into. Business does not have to be complex. And to be honest, it's already hard. And when you take on other people's money into your business, it takes on a whole different dynamic. If you can't manage 1,000 pounds, then you're not gonna be able to manage 10,000 pounds. You don't suddenly learn how to handle money by amassing more of it. Financial literacy is not a side effect of wealth. Wealth is a side effect of financial literacy. And you gain that through bootstrapping your business and starting broke, using those decisions to start and scale your business as best you can. So start small, use the best of what you've got and don't be afraid of making the wrong decisions using your own money at a much smaller scale than taking on heaps of investment and making huge costly mistakes. So thanks for watching, I hope this video has helped and if you did like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.